thank you to our families for their calm and sensible way in which they've responded to the coronavirus concerns that we're all experiencing at the moment. It's very much been a supportive and working with us approach from everyone and it's really appreciated. I wanted to talk to you about the at-home learning routines that we've put in place. Um, all students should be engaged in their learning programs while they're at, at home. Teachers are monitoring engagement in learning, including online learning, and using that to mark roles. For our K-6 classes, we've sent home a bundle of learning, including things like spelling books, uh, maths booklets, uh, handwriting booklets, story writing booklets, and a book with a variety of activities in the literacy and numeracy uh, area. Science, uh, there's also a book uh, that's uh, been made available for the kids and um, we've uploaded some science related things for them as well related to that. The equivalent learning is offered online and is able to be accessed by students and I'll talk about how to access that in a moment. Uh, we've also got some online subscriptions that the students know how to access through uh, Matific and Reading Eggs, uh, both for K-6 students. Uh, we've got Wooshka for K-2 students, Epic for Year 3 6 students. Uh, all of those are online resources that students K-6 can use. All students need to establish routines for at-home learning. K-6 students usually spend about 7 to 8 hours a week or an hour and a half a day completing literacy activities. They spend five to six hours a week or an hour a day completing numeracy activities. And about an hour and a half to two and a half hours a week participating in science and technology, PD Health PE, HSIE, which is probably more commonly known as history and geography, and creative arts activities. K-6 parents are encouraged to develop a weekly schedule uh, or visual timetable support their, to support their children complete uh, their work at home. Year 7 to 12 students should be using their school timetable as a guide for working from home each day. Online lessons are being provided as a reflection of their timetable. It's important to have students engaged and connected with their schooling as it's an important wellbeing measure. Staff can see whether students are attending classes and completing work and we're using this and other submitted work to mark attendance roles and ensure that all students are both progressing in their learning and are safe and well. We're working on the development of hard copy materials that we'll distribute to homes that you've, and, and some may have already received them, um, for those homes that don't have uh, internet or device access. And advice about those materials will come home um, uh, shortly if you haven't received them. For all students K-12, you should have received advice about accessing online learning via email or on a paper note. Each student logs on to the Department of Education portal uh, then, using Google, the Google search bar, searches for Google Classroom and then selects it and logs in. You should have already received a code to access the online classroom. We can help if you're having technical difficulties and more about how to get that help in a moment. For the wellbeing of our community and indeed our nation, everyone needs to stay at home as much as possible. To have contact with others may well lead to you contracting the virus or passing it to someone else potentially a family member or someone vulnerable. Please ensure that students stay at home and are engaged in their learning programs that we have provided for them. At this time, most staff are on duty during the school day, either working from home or physically at school, and very busy preparing further online learning and packaged learning for students. If you have questions, including technical questions, it's best to email the school on evansriver-c.school at det .nsw.edu.au and then put attention and the name of the staff member at the top of the email or in the subject. If you'd like a callback, just say so in the email. School staff will be in touch, sometimes via phone, to see if students are going okay with their school work at home. The school will continue to use our Facebook page, emails and sometimes text messages to keep you up to date with developments. Following our Facebook page is a good idea. We live in a great community and we look after each other really well. There's anxiety at the present time and I just want to say thank you for being aware that how we treat each other rubs off. The best thing we can do at the moment is stay at home wherever possible and abide the hygiene and social distancing advice.